Okay, so um, here is your table of contents, and we are going to glue um, the notes you just took on page 136 and 137, and it's called Experimental and Theoretical Probability. So we'll go to those pages. One thirty six, one thirty seven, and because these were printed front and back, <clears throat> you're going to put them on, but be careful how you do this. So we just want to run glue on the top of the back side so that we can still flip it and look at both sides of that, and then you'll run glue right here, and then that way once it's glued in, you can still look at the front and the back of those pages. So. The left side will go on this side, and the right side will go on the right side. And then just put a little glue right there, and glue it down. If it doesn't stick really well, you can get some tape from the student office area, um, and your notes should be good to go in your journal, just like that, okay? All right, and then let's take a look at the skills practice. I'm just going to get you started. Theoretical and experimental probability. A number cube is rolled 50 times. That's important to note. And the results are shown in the graph. So if we are actually rolling it 50 times and we see results um, and it's a number cube experiment, this is the data for the experimental probability. Okay, so find the experimental probability of rolling a 2. Well, how many times did we roll a 2? We rolled a 2 eight times out of 50, and that simplifies to, let's see, um, 4 25ths. So you could report it like that, or you could report it as a percent or a decimal, 8 50ths equals 16 hundredths. or 16%. That's the experimental probability when you run the experiment you use that data. What's the theoretical probability of rolling a 2? Well, you have to think about a dice or a number cube. How many sides are a 2? Well, one of them. One out of six. So I can't really tell from fraction to fraction how close those are. Let's turn that into a decimal. And let's see, that sometimes is a little bit easier to tell. 1 divided by 6, and you get 16 with that 6 repeating. So it's probably closer. If I rounded this 6, would tell that to go up to a 7. It's really closer to 17 hundredths, but um, all in all, it's still pretty close together. Okay, so you're going to go through this, and where it says experimental data, you're going to use data from the experiment. When it says theoretical, you're going to think about, in theory, when you're thinking about a dice, um, what's the, the theory that something will or won't happen. So let's look at two. Find the experimental probability of not rolling a two. Well, if, it, <clears throat> if the experimental probability of rolling a two was eight, not rolling a two is going to be 42 out of 50, right? So 42... Let's see, 42 divided by 50, 84 hundredths, and so that's 84 percent. And what is the theoretical probability of not rolling a 2? Well, five of those sides are not a 2, so 5 out of 6. And again, that should be somewhere around this same number. 5 divided by 6 is 83 percent with that 83 repeating. Find the experimental probability of rolling a 1. So since it's experimental, we're going to use this experimental data. 10 out of 50, which equals 1 fifth, which equals 20 hundredths, which equals 20%. Okay? Questions? If you have questions, pause the video, go see a teacher. 
two, use the survey results at the right. So what is your um, favorite season of the year? So they have taken a survey and the respondents um, answered 13% said spring was their favorite, 39% said summer, 25% said fall, 13% said winter, and 10% said they didn't have a favorite, they liked them all. So what is the experimental probability that a person's favorite season is fall? Write the probability as a fraction. So fall is 25%. So the fraction for that, if I change that to a decimal, it's 25 hundredths. And the fraction for that is 1 fourth. <coughs> Out of 300 people, how many would you expect to say that fall is their favorite season? So, remember the percent proportion, um, part over whole, percent over 100, fall is 25%, so 25 out of 100. So, out of 300 people, how many do you think would like fall? So, we're making a prediction using our data. We did that in the last unit as well, right? So 300 times 25 divided by 100. So we would say 75 people. Out of 20 people, how many would you expect to say they liked all seasons? So all seasons was 10%. 10 out of 100. So out of 20 people, how many would you expect? I think that's going to be 2. 20 times 10 divided by 100. 2 people. And D, out of 650 people, how many would you expect to say that they like summer more than winter? So we've got to do that. Um, let's, let's find the percent difference first. So summer more than winter, summer's 39%, and winter is 13%. So the difference is 26%. So that's the percent difference, so now I can if it's 26% difference out of 100, and then if we're talking about out of 650 people, we want to find the difference. 650 times 26 divided by 100, we would expect that difference to be 169 people. So you need to work on the back. Um, let's work on, I think you need to do the whole back. So 1A through D, 2A through C, and 3A through C. If you don't get it done, we will finish it in class on Wednesday.